Welcome back. Take a hike, Tina. Just oh. kidding. <laughs> Getting your comfortable shoes on and heading to the trails can be fun and great exercise, but what if you want to take your dog with you? This dog. There are some things you should consider before you go. Samantha Nichols of the Humane Society of Southern Arizona is here with some tips and a pet that needs a forever home and knows that I have a treat. <laughs> you know I have a treat. Samantha, who is this? This is tough. He is a one-year-old Sharpay mix, and Ooh. as you can see, he nope. is very uh, treat motivated, so uh, he's down. happy to do a trick for you. Down. He is the sweetest Good thing. Boy. He also, we discovered, loves mirrors. He does. He he likes to see himself in the mirror. Oh, well, wouldn't you? I mean, look how handsome he is. <laughs> yeah. This is a sweetheart. Good Damn. Guy. So, <laughs> and he's oh. available. For adoption. Of course, yeah. So if you go down to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, you can, at the main campus is where you can find him. Oh, Excellent. You and great. you are here today to talk about hiking with your dog. Now, what are some of the supplies maybe that we need to make sure that we have with us on a hike? So the number one thing you're always going to want to have is water. That is the most important thing since we live in the desert. Um, and sometimes it can be a little hard for the dog to drink out of your water, bowl, water bottle. So if you want to bring them, they sell collapsible water bottle, bowls. So you can just pour your water into that for the dog to drink out of. Okay. Um, other things is dogs have to be on a collar and leash and they need an ID tag as well. Um, so you're going to want to have that and you know bringing a first aid kit would be a great thing too. So it's hard sometimes they'll step into cactus and you want to take that out and they can get a little nick or something on the way. So those are usually the best things to have with you. Well and I know we're talking about possibly you know them getting you know pricked by some cactus you know along the way but what are some other hazards we should be watching out for them? Right, so when you're on a walk with your dog, it's always good to make sure that they're not getting into anything. Um, if they're trying to eat something, it could be poisonous, so keep away from that. Also, if your dog is all of a sudden on alert, if they're looking for something and they see something, keep your eyes out because it could be a snake, it could be a venomous critter of any sort, and so you just want to want to remove them from the area as soon as possible. Um, and then just other things, you know, watch out for the weather, make sure you're not going to go out when it's a monsoon day, so... You know, and, and it's not too hot either because we don't want anyone to get dehydrated or heat stroke. That's, that's great advice. And you also said a leash. Yes. Now, I have a lot of friends that have these wonderful pets who will just follow them anywhere they go. Mm -hmm. Will absolutely come when you call them. But why is it so important that we still make sure to have a leash on our pets? So it is the law in Arizona. It's called the Arizona Leash Law. Your dog does have to be on with a collar, with an ID tag identifying it, and um, they do have to be on leash if they're out in public. Uh, so if you may see people running around without the leash on, um, it's not allowed. So we do want to make sure that we're setting a good example when we go on hikes and taking our dog on leash. I like that. Setting a good example, Tina. It is. We're yes. We're going to do that. Well, and also you would want to make sure that the dog that you have is actually the kind of dog that should go on a hike Absolutely. because I know it's at some point in time it had to be the first time you took your dog somewhere. So maybe not taking them on like a, a long hike or a long jog if it's their first time or what are your what's your suggestion? Yeah, you're right on point. So you want to make sure that your dog is comfortable with walking, that they don't have joint pain or any other disabilities that would make it hard for them to be on a strenuous hike. So taking them into a really easy place, the park, start there, you know, and then you can upgrade from there to maybe Catalina State Park on one of their easier trails, and then maybe Mount Lemon, you know, just kind of working your way up to see what your dog's comfortable with. Because my dog makes me carry her about halfway, no matter where we're going, and she just sits down and she's like, done. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, then you're stuck getting her back. And then I now have five extra pounds that I'm carrying oh, uh, no. back to the house. But, you know, you have to take them on what's suitable for them. And I know we're looking for a great home, which I know we're going to get a great home for Tough, but you guys have some great specials going on. We do. So since there is a U of A game tonight, we want to go ahead and celebrate with U of A. Um, so we're going to cheer on their victory that is sure to come. And so we're going to have an adoption special from Thursday, starting this Thursday tomorrow, and all the way through Sunday. So the dogs that are between the ages of six months and five years will be $10, so that's fantastic. Um, if it's a senior pet, like we had Mo last week, he was, you know, eight years old, so six years and older are going to be $5. And then if we've got a kitten or puppy, which is five months and under, then it's going to be $50. Excellent. And Sam, will you run through really quickly what is included when you adopt a pet from the Humane Society? So when you adopt a pet from the Humane Society, you are getting a free spay and neuter, essentially, because that price is so low that it really doesn't cover it. Um, the dog is also getting microchipped, and you're going to be paying for a license when you are there when you get a dog, so you're going to get that as well. Um, and then any vaccinations that they've received up to that point, that comes along with it, and an awesome dog. <laughs> and an awesome, you get a family member. Oh. It is, and I, I love that you guys let people bring, you know, their family and their other pets if they want to see if they're they're going to get along and everything. It really is about just making the right fit. Uh, every family, you know, a dog is just like anybody else that you want to bring in. It's like picking a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband. You yeah. want to get someone that's going to fit into the family. 
And you know what I really love? I've been on the website, and you actually show, you know, pictures with descriptions mm -hmm. uh, of pets that are available. They even say, you know, if, if they're good with kids, if they're good with other dogs, or if they're good with cats. And I think that's such a useful tool for anybody who's looking and maybe wants to a sneak peek before they before they yeah. actually go in in person. Yeah, it's always good to be knowledgeable about the animal you're interested in. So giving that little tidbit helps people narrow down what they're looking for. Wonderful. Well, we got our dog from the Humane Society, I'm proud to say. Awesome. And I always look forward to seeing who you're going to bring for us <laughs> this week. So we hope Tuff gets a very good home. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and to find the perfect furry friend, give the Humane Society a shot. They're located on Kelvin, northeast of Country Club in Fort Lowell. They're open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 6 and Sundays noon to 5. For more information, you can call 327-6088 or log on to hssaz.org.